With the rapid growth of technology, the fifth generation of wireless network, otherwise known as 5G, will soon emerge. You may have heard of it lately in the media because of a recent memo written by the National Security Council, obtained by Axios, urging the Trump administration to consider building and developing a nationwide 5G network, or headlines highlighting the rapid advances made in the field. But before we dazzle you with the benefits of 5G, a quick history lesson. The first generation or 1G was introduced in the 1980s. It was an analog technology. Phones that came with them were heavy and had poor voice quality and allowed voice call in only one country. Cell phones around the world had their first major upgrade in 1991. 2G gave us the ability to send text messages, emails, and pictures. By 2000s, technology had advanced far enough to give us a third generation, or 3G. It gave us the ability to access the internet, and all suddenly, the world's information was literally in the palms of your hands. Finally, in the late 2000s, 4G arrived and granted us with the ability of a much faster internet, video conference, and the ability to watch high-def videos. But now you might be thinking, what's the hype? Isn't 5G just a faster version of 4G? Yes, you're right. It's a much, much, much faster version. In fact, according to some estimates, up to 10 times faster than 4G LTE, allowing us to download and upload 8K and 3D videos at the same time making room for other smart products to connect to the internet. By 2020, some estimates that 20 to 30 billion new devices will be connected to the internet. However, the promise of 5G is not just lightning fast speeds, but also less lag time as data moves between different networks and servers. This can open up the potential of fully autonomous cars without any human input. Today's 4G doesn't have the bandwidth for a large amount of data from all the smart devices that will be hooked online in the future. And while 4G is used mostly for smartphones to connect to the internet, 5G will handle all kinds of devices that can be connected to the World Wide Web. The next generation network promises to open a door of new possibilities, from safer transportation, speedier communications, and smarter cities. The technology behind 5G is very tricky, but before we go into that, a quick refresher. As we all know that when we access the internet, data is being sent out from our devices and onto servers. This data is transmitted via radio waves, but not all radio waves are the same. They are split up into different ranges and frequencies. Different ranges are reserved for different forms of communication, such as television broadcast and marine navigation. The International Telecommunication Union, or the ITU, decides who gets to use certain frequency bands. 5G technologies will be using high frequency airwaves and data moves very fast along high frequency airwaves but high frequency doesn't travel very far and have trouble getting around buildings and other obstacles. That means that phone companies would have to shift from big cell towers that can blanket entire neighborhoods to the collection of smaller transmitters. Some estimate that building 5G networks will require approximately 300,000 new cell sites, but infrastructure is not the only obstacle that 5G faces. As new technology have come out over the years, frequency for them to use have been squeezed into gaps. This caused long-term problems with connectivity and reliability. The ITU is taking this into account as they restructure parts of the radio frequency for 5G. The race is on across America. AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, and Sprint all have spent considerable amount of money developing and testing 5G network technology. Verizon have recently announced that they will be rolling out 5G services in 11 U.S. cities to replace fixed broadband by some time in the near future. While Sprint announced that they will be introducing 5G mobile capabilities in early 2019. Intel and Qualcomm have been building chips that enable 5G communications. However, U.S. companies aren't the only ones that see the benefits of 5G. Nokia, Huawei, and Ericsson are all building the backbone equipment to support 5G. But before you get too excited about the idea of finally being able to catch up on all your favorite TV shows on HD, experts have agreed that the earliest launch for 5G network will be sometime in 2020. However, the world got a taste of 5G sooner than expected because KT Corporation partnered up with Intel and Samsung to develop and demonstrate the world's first 5G network service at the 2018 Winter Olympics in South Korea. A nationwide 5G network is expected to be incredibly expensive. Some early forecasts of rolling out 5G to the entire United States would cost close to $300 billion. However, the cost may be worth it if 5G truly does offer us all the promised possibilities that are just waiting for us.